Want to know what an essential item is for your hurricane preps? Today I'm going to talk about the Streamlight Siege and the Streamlight Siege AA. Stay tuned because you don't want to be left in the dark. Hey everybody, I'm Prudence with VigilPrudence.com. Thanks so much for coming by. In this video, I'm going to talk about an item that I feel is absolutely essential for your hurricane preps. Hurricane season is right around the corner starting on June 1st and you don't want to get caught in a hurricane and have your power go out and be left in the dark without a Streamlight Siege Lantern. These things are essential for your hurricane preps. I have multiple of these. These are just a few that I have around my house. I have given them to family and friends. These things are essential. They're rugged. They're waterproof. And when the lights go out, for whatever reason, hurricane, or it could just be you're in a power outage, these things will light up your world. First things first, this is in no way a paid sponsorship, an advertisement. Streamlight gave me nothing. I've had no contact with them whatsoever. I purchased all of the Streamlights that you see here. I purchased all of the Streamlights that I've given to family and friends. I totally believe in this product. I recommend this product and I felt it was time for me to share this product with you. I've had the big Streamlights three, four years now and I've just recently purchased what I would call the little baby Streamlights or the Streamlights double A's uh, just within the last several weeks in preparedness for hurricane season. Now I'll explain to you in a bit why I decided to purchase the double A's but let's get into what these Streamlights have to offer. First of all some specifics. The Streamlight Siege these take 3D batteries. So look inside and here are 3D size batteries. And not a paid advertisement for Duracell but personally I do believe Duracell is the best way to go with regard to batteries. So one battery goes up, plus side up, the other two negative, uh, plus side down, negative side up. The way you insert these, uh, the lid will only go on one way. See that little notch right there? And you'll see the little notch in the lid. Line those notches up, set the, right, the base on, push down slightly, and just twist. There's a clip on the bottom so you can hang it upside down if need be. And then regard to the top, you have a nice carry handle so you can carry it around the house. And there's also a clip on the top here. Now that's so if you're camping or anything, you can hang it from, your, from a tree, from your tent post, anything like that. Uh, it has a housing for the lantern, but you can also take that housing off just by giving it a twist, popping the housing off, and you can have just the bare bulb. If you have the bare bulb, that is primarily for hanging it upside down. This uh, Streamlight Siege, this is a 540 lumen lantern. The Siege AA is the exact same design with the exception of it takes three AA batteries, one positive side up, two positive side down, negative side up. It has that same internal little notch to line up the lid with. You line that up, push down slightly, twist, and it's locked in. Also on the bottom of the Siege AA is a clip to hang it. And the same concept, you can take the lantern cover off and hang it with directly with the LED bulb just facing down. The lantern on. The only difference on the AA, there is no clip on the top but there is the little carrying handle on the top. These are which are classified as rugged. They're both rugged devices and they're both water resistant. So if you happen to drop it in water, no worries, it's gonna stay lit. The Siege AA is 200 lumens. Let's take a quick look at exactly how the light works. First of all, everything's controlled by one button. So one push, that is your brightest lumen Second push brings it down a notch and I will have listed below what the actual lumens are for the different uh, 
levels of intensity. And a third push, that's your dimmest light. A fourth push turns the light off entirely. If you hold the button down, that'll help you in the night. It won't really blind you by turning on the bright uh, LED white lumens. So if you're around the house at night and you kind of got to walk around, using the red light, it's not as intense. If you're trying to be a little bit covert, it won't stand out quite as much. Um, but you have a red light option and then a second push on the red light option gives you an SOS option. So that's an SOS option. And then of course a fourth push turns it off. Again, if you hold the light down, hold the button down again, that brings you back into your light mode. Same thing with the little brother, the Streamlight AA. It's just the button function is the opposite. So your first push is your dimmest setting. Your second push is next highest up. And your third push, that's your full 200 lumens. Fourth push turns it off. And again, if you hold the button in, you have a red light option. If you double push the red light option, you get your SOS option. The lights are off. There, It is daylight out, so you're seeing some light come around the corner. But here's just an example. 500 lumens. And that's just an example of those three lumen settings. Now I apologize, these are LED lights, so it does kind of cause a flicker in the camera. But if you're here personally, you don't see that flicker. And if I double click, uh, if I hold down the light, there's the red light setting. Now I purchased the Siege with the, that holds the three D-cell batteries basically for room light. And I can tell you, I've used these in a power outage situation, both in a hurricane situation as well as just a general power outage around the house or the neighborhood. And I've used these to illuminate a room. You can easily illuminate a bedroom so you can see around the bedroom and do what you need to do with one. If you're in a living room, I've got two. Uh, and I do have one of these in every room of the house, at least one of these in every room of the house. The living room I do have two and I do also have one in the garage. And if I need to walk in the kitchen, I just, I just carry one with me. The reason I decided to purchase the Siege AA is because I keep these in the bathrooms. So you get up in the night. Uh, this is going to be very bright. You can turn it on red mode. That definitely helps. But this will easily light up a bathroom with a nice small glow so you can see what you have to see. Um, and then you don't have to carry this around with you to the bathroom. You can even leave this on all night if need be just as a night light. So if you run the Siege AA at its lowest setting, it'll run for about 37 hours. And again, that's on three AA batteries. If you run it at the highest setting, it'll run about seven hours on three AA batteries. AA batteries are extremely cheap and it's just a little bit of peace of mind to have a little bit of glow in the house, especially in the bathroom. If you're in the middle of a power outage, you're in the middle of, uh, after a hurricane, it just a little bit of light just gives everybody a little bit of comfort. And again, you can always run it at the red setting. So again, it, it provides even more of a glow and it's not even as bright as the lowest bright setting. As far as the runtime for the Big Brother, the Siege, if you run this on high, now keep in mind it's got three D-cell batteries. If you run this on high, it's gonna run for about 30 hours. And if you run it in on low, it's gonna run for about 295 hours. So that's a whole lot of time on three D-cell batteries. Again, D-cell batteries are slightly more expensive, not grossly expensive. Perfect option to have in the house, just to kind of walk around. Now, obviously, if the power is off for an extended period of time, a number of days, you're likely to have a generator running and you may have the generator hooked up to uh, electrical plug-in lights uh, on your generator and that's all well and good, but you can't really carry those around the house with you. And chances are you're not gonna have every room in the house plugged in, have a light plugged into your generator. That's where these make a fantastic option. They're easy to carry around, very light to carry around, and battery life is just outstanding. 
if you are looking uh, to build up your hurricane prep list and preparedness items and now is the time to do that an essential item are the Streamlight and the Streamlight AA. I'll have a link in the description below as well as what the lumens are at the different settings for each light and for each lamp and lantern. Uh, but these are essential. I highly recommend them. It's a solid product and again not a paid advertisement in any way shape or form not sponsored. I bought these. I recommend these and I will probably buy more especially of these little uh, Siege double A's. So that's it for now. My name is Prudence. This is visualprudence.com. I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you like what you're seeing here, please share a comment below if you'd like me to review something for you. And I've got a question for you. What kind of hurricane preps are you prepping for right now? Pop that in the, in the uh, comments below as well. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye for now.